So today we have a Fiat 500 lounge. This is the spec that everyone tends to want on the Fiat 500 lounge. And the colour, everybody loves this mint colour. As I said, uh, one owner from you and he's 38,000 miles in fantastic condition. Fiat 500s, of course, are super fun to drive. They're proverbial little go-karts, but they cost peanuts to run. So as always, to make life easy for everyone, we do our walk around videos panel by panel. So we show you every bit of the bodywork so you know exactly what you'll be coming to look at. And then we'll do the same with the interior. And we find that means that no one turns up and is disappointed at all. It's exactly as they saw in the video. But apologies, it can get a little repetitive because obviously there's only so many ways you can describe paintwork and so forth. So starting at the front of the car, headlights, lovely and clear. No condensation, no cracking, no yellowing. Same with your driving lights either side. Lovely and clear. Down here, all your chrome is excellent around the bumpers. And your lower grille has no damage on it at all. Your chrome on the uh, bonnet area or the front bumper area here. Also excellent, all your badge nice and clear. Nothing to note there at all. The bonnet paintwork is excellent. There's a couple of very minor little chips if i was picky and we are picky on these just like i say you know exactly what you'd be coming to see but overall the whole front end is excellent really nothing to note there at all corner of the bumper free from scrapes and scratches nothing to note there at all the front wing again that's all in good condition no paintwork issues there at all the front wheel no curbing to note on that wheel or paint lack appeal or anything like that tires are brand new on this we did for the mot put brand new tires on all the way around the car did a full set of four so again that's something else you're not gonna have to put your hands in your pocket for for a long time we also did the front brake pads and discs at the same time as well so tires all round, front brake pads and discs and so we serviced it which i can talk about when we go to the engine bay later on wing mirror cap no real scraping or scratching on that at all the driver's door sorry passenger door is all in good condition no paintwork to note at all on that and the same with the rear quarter here i don't need to note any scrapes or scratches as we look down the car it is surprising you seems to be devoid of any dings and dents because these don't have any bump strips down the side of them to protect them the edge of the door is really good there's maybe two very small chips just there the rear wheel we have a little bit of curbing on the edge of this wheel here. Overall, it's good though. Again, obviously we've got brand new tire there. The rear light is nice and clear, no cracks or damage to that. The rear of the bumper, excellent. That actually, I think I can, there's a little mark there, but actually I think that can be buffed out. I think we might have missed it in the valeting process, so we'll pick that up. Across the back of the car here, all next condition, all your chrome is good, your badge is good. All the paintwork nice along here. We replaced the rear windscreen wiper rubber. The chrome along the back of the bumper here is good. I think there's one tiny little bit of peel just there if I'm being picky again. But overall, all excellent. The rear light again clear. No damage to note at all of that or condensation. Corner of the bumper, again, free of any scrapes or scratches on the corner of the bumper. As we look down the driver's side of the car, again, I really can't see any noticeable dings or dents the paintwork in the rear quarter excellent again this wheel has some minor curbing on the edge of it again obviously it's got its brand new tire you've got all your proper caps all the way around your fiat 500 caps this rear quarter panel as i said is all good door handle chrome nice this panel again i think i noticed one tiny when the light's right i think there's a tiny tiny little ding just here but again, I am being very overly picky there. The wing mirror cap on the driver's side hasn't caught anybody else's. There's no marks on that. And the front wing again, excellent condition. No paint to note on there at all. One very small scuff on the corner of the bumper just here. And the wheel, this one doesn't have any curbing on the edge of it. Might have a little bit of bubbling just there. And again, the new tire. And the new disc and pad, of course. As we look across the roof, all the paintwork is here is good. The aerial is in nice condition. And then you've got your panoramic glass roof, which is free of any cracks or scratches as far as I can see. All in excellent nick. So overall for the age, I'd say it's really in quite excellent condition all round. Looks fantastic. And I've been super picky some of, picking some of those points out. But overall, from a normal distance, a normal look over, it looks pretty darn immaculate to be fair. Let's take a look at the interior. 
So I said this is a lounge spec. In my experience of selling Fiat 500s, this is by far and away the most popular combination of these sort of tartan style seats with the mint paint. They're all in excellent condition. You see those back seats are fantastic. No stainings, no marks, no burns. Carpets are the same. Pleased to say so are the front seats. No stains, no tears, no burn holes. You've got that panoramic roof and we will put the sunshade across while having a look inside as it is super hot today. So you just pull it across that, clips in. That's all nice, no staining on that, no staining on the headliner at all. So looking at the uh, dashboard, you've obviously got the colour-coded dash here. You've got your CD radio. This has the benefit of the auxiliary input, so you can plug an auxiliary cable in your phone and play it through that, or a USB. So if I just flick that back, you've got USB as well. You've got your cigarette charger there, five-speed gearbox, your electric windows, air conditioning, which is blowing cold, I'm pleased to say, especially in the current weather. You've got your stop-start button there your rear heated screen, all your controls for your heating, as I said here. This is the city button on a Fiat 500. You push that and because they have electronic steering, it makes the steering twice as light. So if you're struggling to get in a parking spot or just like lighter steering, you can hit that button. You've got your um, hazard lights and then your fog lights there. As I said, it's got the old school CD radio as well. If you carry on to wish using those. It does have Bluetooth. Um, so those are the controls there up on the... Uh, up on the steering wheel and your volume controls your stereo here it has got voice activated calls as well so if you push that button you can do voice activated calls and if i recall correctly it will read out text messages for you as well all the dash is in excellent condition there's no scraping or scratching on the face of the dash which sometimes you get with the fiat 500s we've got all the service book and the hand manuals in here we've got your new advisory free mot and we will provide the owner with a copy of the bill we just paid at the garage uh, 500 pounds worth of work which included the oil filter air filter um wiper blades brake pads brake discs tires all round balancing and a front bulb i think as well as the mot certificate take a little look in the engine bay for those that are interested so in here again all nice and clean and tidy we've got the proper fiat stop start battery you can turn stop start off on this but we've got the proper fiat stop start battery on it it's a 1.28 valve. These are really quite nippy. When you get them on a the boil, they are quite nippy. We find them a little bit more reliable than the twin air engine. The twin air engine is great, but we find the 1.2s will do higher mileages easier at lower cost of maintenance. As I said, we've just done the oil, the air filter and the oil filter. So you're all serviced, ready to go. Nearly forgot to have a little look in the boot for you. So... It's a nice little size boot for the size of the car. You've got a 50-50 split on these seats, so they can be folded flat. I use one like a little van for quite a while um, by keeping those seats down all the time. And then underneath here, you've got a proper spare wheel with the locking wheel nut. So there we have it. One owner, low mileage, 38,000 miles. It's got a brand new advisory free MOT, which included all new tires all around, brake pads and discs on the front. We've just serviced it and it's in fantastic condition overall. All set to go for its new owner. Car will come out with a three month, 3000 mile national warranty that can be used at any VAT registered garage. Please take time to read our reviews both on Google and on Facebook. You'll see we pride ourselves on customer service. Should you have any questions, please don't hesitate to get in touch. Park Exchange is welcome. And many thanks for watching the video. Hope to see you soon.